and it's the windiest day uh, of all the time that we're here. Also the coldest day. As evidence by my hair. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not raining at the moment. So you'll count on blessings. But it's super windy. Look at my hair. <laughs> Look at my hair. This is how, how I'm protecting my hair from flying all over the place. How do you feel about coming to Coconut? Excited, excited, excited! <laughs> pretty but it's very crowded mm -hmm. and it's not the best place for taking photos because there are people in every shot and also you're not allowed to walk on the grass you're not allowed to stick on the pavements so it's very difficult to get a nice shot of yourself so i don't regret coming here but would i come back i'm not too sure oh spicy burn. chicken <laughs> yeah exactly we're waiting for you to see that 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 <laughs> That's what we're doing, whispering by the side, like off the camera. <laughs> okay, it is a really beautiful park. And I've never seen so many varieties of tulips as in this park. Some of them I didn't even know were tulips, but apparently they're just different variations of tulips. So, pretty enlightening experience overall. Just very crowded. And also the weather in the Netherlands is super unpredictable. So you kind of just have to get lucky. Uh, because it rains apparently 230 days out of the year here. 230? Yeah, according to my mom, it rains 230 days. It's not raining today. Yeah, so I mean it's not sunny but it's not raining so and that's already pretty lucky. Huh? How come my Heinz doesn't taste this flavorful? Because mm, you didn't pay for 95 right? For a little dollop. which is a UNESCO site with how many windmills? Mommy? 19. 19 windmills. But we just found out we need to take a car ferry to cross the river and go to the other side. I've been on one before. So we're waiting for the car ferry now. We're on the car ferry now. It was 570 euros and we can get out of the car. So we're here stretching our legs. Oh, we're moving! <laughs> this is Kinderdijk. We're gonna go look at some windmills because that's what the Netherlands is famous for. So you can see here, it's kind of like blue skies behind us, but look in front.
Oh, I'm an egg with sprouts. <laughs> it's not raining, but it's really cold and really windy. Oh, egg hit number three. <laughs> It rained. It rained for like 20 minutes and now the sun's back out again. 20 minutes? I thought it was like 5. 5 minutes, whatever. 20 minutes is sun. <laughs> minutes. Drove excellently. Drove excellently. And we're here! And if nothing else, this place makes the drive worth it. So what I read is that the Gore Overflake region is responsible for about 10% of uh, Netherlands tulip production, but they don't grow them for tourists, they actually grow them for export, which is why they don't charge a fee and the farmers, like these fields are pretty much public, so you can just buy the stuff and come down. But uh, you just have to be careful to pluck the flowers and also not to trample any of Otherwise, you're free to just walk around the fields and this is just one of the many fields that we have uh, are going to see today, I hope. is that uh, these are not very uh, manicured because obviously these are not really meant for tourists uh, so it does get very muddy so uh, we are walking at the side now where the grass is otherwise our boots and our shoes would be totally ruined 